So we've connected this iPhone for us on our uh, Windows machine. We have opened uh, three U tools, and now we'll go and read or break it. As you can see on there says uh, jailbroken yes, but the jailbreak has expired. So we will gonna go and uh, jailbreak it again. So if we go there, no, there, then jailbreak. And now this one will say, oh, Phoenix jailbreak. That's the right for you. Select it. Oops, oops, oops. Before we start the jailbreak, we have to uh, disable our antivirus. Go there. Protection is on. Do it off just for this uh, jailbreak then we'll go and enable it again so once that is done click start jailbreak and uh, now it will ask for our apple id credentials put yours i'll put mine once uh, that is done continue and uh, let the whole thing do the magic if for any reason uh, the process fails at uh, 70 percent make sure that uh, you have uh, disabled your antivirus make sure that you're running the latest uh, version of uh, three u tools and everything will be all right if uh, if uh, if you've done the check and you have the latest uh, uh, three u tools update you have disabled your uh, antivirus and still the, the process fails at 70%, then you need to install uh, iTunes straight from uh, Apple's website just uh, for the drivers. You don't need to use iTunes. And uh, that is done. You see it says continue uh, on your device. On your device, let me show you. You'll find... Uh, um, uh, an email address which most likely will be your your email address your Apple ID email address anyway go there and um, uh, verify that email address once that's done go back and then go ahead and open Phoenix and then kickstart jailbreak Use provided offsets. Patch blah blah blah. It will uh, reboot. All right, it did reboot. Now go ahead, unplug it, and then unlock the phone. Yes, no SIM card. And uh, where is it? There you go. Open again Phoenix, kickstart jailbreak, and uh, use provided offsets. Obviously, the waiting time to for the phone to reboot, I will actually uh, fast forward that. I don't want to waste your time, guys. But obviously, if you jailbreak your phone, the waiting time for the first reboot after the jailbreak, it will be quite long. All right, we're uh, back to home screen. Let's go and open Cydia. No, it doesn't. Okay, so let's go again. Looks like Phoenix, it is a bit unstable.
and there you go now everything worked fine because as you can see next to the wi-fi uh sign there i've got a tweaked up logo and the battery percentage there has a little animation thing there so now the this uh, iphone 4 is, is uh, totally jailbroken whoops as you can see icons they go around it's tweaked so this is the way how you uh jailbreak ios 9.3.6 same actually applies for the 9.3.5 9 iphone uh, 4s ipad 2 and all the actual devices that they run ios 9 that's it from me guys thanks a lot for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one